Today we are going to discuss second chapter paternity of Wolf Hall which is somehow very important chapter because it reveals the main idea of the novel that is the annulment of Henry VIII's marriage to Catherine of Aragon. This chapter reveals some major characters as well Cardinal Woolsey, Thomas Cromwell, uh, Henry VIII's physical appearance and his intentions to get annulled. Uh, this chapter starts in 1527 outside the home of uh, Cardinal Woolsey where Stephen Gardiner is coming out. Stephen Gardiner is the secretary to Cardinal Woolsey and he is a devoted enemy to Thomas Cromwell. While he is coming out he meets Thomas Cromwell and with their conversations we find that they are not at good terms because Stephen Gardiner reminds Thomas Cromwell that he comes from a lower birth and he satirically tells him that he might have done some river work when he was a child or he was a boy. But in the very second uh, scene we find that Thomas Cromwell and Cardinal Woolsey they are at good terms with each other and they are very friendly and Thomas Cromwell has become a right hand to her, uh, Cardinal Woolsey. Because when he enters in the room, Cardinal Woolsey welcomes him warmly and he cracks a joke which is uh, often uh, told by him when Thomas Cromwell comes, who has recently returned from his Yorkshire trip, which was uh, a very important trip for Cardinal Woolsey. He cracks a joke about uh, his demand for cherries in the month of April and lettuce is in the December. So these things actually um, tell us that Cardinal Woolsey and Thomas Cromwell they are very friendly to each other and Thomas Cromwell has become a right hand to Cardinal Woolsey. We come to know the physical appearance of Cardinal Woolsey as well that he's a man of 55 and he's a handsome and he's in his prime and he is a man who works for many hours in the service of England. He sleeps only four um, hours a day and he works for England a lot and he has he is the right man, right hand man to the King of England, Henry VIII. Cardinal Woolsey asks Thomas Cromwell about his Yorkshire trip and Cromwell who has just returned from the trip tells him that it was not a very good trip and Cardinal Woolsey tells him about his project as well that his project is to amalgamate some 30 small ill-run monastic foundations with larger ones and to divert the income of these foundations to found two important colleges two uh, larger colleges the one is cardinal college which is going to be established at oxford and another is at his hometown at the ipswich they all talk about general things about yorkshire people weather etc and then suddenly we find that cardinal woolsey tells um, thomas cromwell about the idea of henry VIII to get get annulled with his um, lady with his wife catherine of aragon with whom he has spent some 20 years together after 20 years he thinks that he should get separated with the lady and he will uh, love to get married to any lady in the words of the author herself we find that any lady any well connected princess whom he thinks might give him a son so the main purpose behind getting annulled with Catherine is to get an heir for his kingdom which is making the king Henry desperate to get married to any lady here we get to know that how uh, Catherine of Aragon, she was uh, only 16 years of uh, age when she got married to his elder brother Arthur and she was a very beautiful lady that even Henry VIII, he couldn't stop himself falling in love with the uh, wife of his elder brother. We uh, come to know that Henry VIII is a man of uh, 35 years of age and he is a man of good health and hearty appetite and uh, his joints are supple his bones are the ones which support him and he is the king of england